Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, my name is Sadie. I don't know why I hit my chest so hard then. Today we're finally filming with the Makeup Revolution and Patricia Bright Rich in Colour palette. This is the more colourful palette. She released another one exactly the same but with different tones, a little bit more natural and neutral. Um, so yeah, I've done this tutorial using this palette so if you'd like to see how i done it then keep on watching. Okay, so I did swatch the palette and the first row is from left to right is Shimmering, Love Song, Queen, Mod Hell, Honey Pot, All Spice and Pillow Talk. Next row is Elegant, Wow, Reckless, Green Juice, Fruit Crunch, Vitamin C, Ocean Deep. Oh, I can't talk at all during this. Next row is The Pink's Poppin', Taste the Rainbow, Birthday Cake, Rich Rich, Yes Peaches, Flames and Nobu. And you have Miss Call, No Exit, Wifey, Trendsetter, Dessert, Miss Tropicana and Backstage. Okay, before we start into the eyeshadow palette, focus camera, I can see you going all over. Ooh, there we are. Um, I was literally like doing my base and I was like, oh shit, I remembered I wanted to try the um, face palette. So this one is in Moonlit Glow. I'm pretty sure this was the palest one they done. So it comes with, I can't remember if that's a contour colour in the middle. But I've already contoured a little bit, so I'll use it as a bronzer. Um, and there's a highlighter and blush in this. So, because I've already done my contour, I'm now going to bronze and hope to God that when I swatch it, it like comes out fine. So I'm going to use this as a bronzer. Oh yeah, that's fine as a bronzer. I feel like I'm too pale. Do the light down a bit more? Yeah. Mm, Dim my limbs, my lights down, but. I think it makes a difference. Very nice buildable powder. I do like my bronzer. I put a lot of bronzer on, um, but I do like one that builds nicely. Yeah, I think it looks quite nice. I'm pale, and I'm, all these lights on me are sort of can't really see it, but it's definitely nice. Blends really nicely into the skin as well. I mean, they feel soft anyway on the swatches, so I had no doubt it was going to be a nice uh, bronzer. It's a bit on the nose, up and down. Right, so bronzer's done. I'm then going to put some highlighter on. Do you know what? I've actually started to use just an eyeshadow brush for um, highlighter because I just feel like all the highlighter brushes I've got are too big and they go in my eyeshadow. Um, and I just actually like doing it with this because it's a little bit more detailed. So I'm going to take the highlighter shade in here. Literally put on the brush. This is just a Morphe S21. It's just like a blender brush. Pop that there. Also, by the way, the foundation I got on is the Urban Decay Stay Naked. Which is one of my faves. That's a really nice highlight. I don't know if you can see it. The thing is, I can't see it because my monitor's there. Nice. This still could be like a really nice natural one though. I'm just like really packing it on. Then I'm going to take the blush shade, which is like this beautiful peachy, apricot-y shade. Probably not going to see it on camera because I'm too pale. I really need to sort my lighting out. just have no room though to do it. Very nice. I do like that actually. Let me just blend that all back in together. Bit of setting spray. Where's my setting spray? There it is. All nighter of course. <laughs> hmm. I feel like actually the bronzers it is nice, don't get me wrong, but I actually like to go a little bit more deeper than that. I mean, I could build it up, but I also don't want to. I'll just leave it as it is, and probably when I take photos is when I'll probably put a little bit more on. Um, but actually, yeah, it's a really nice bronzer. It's actually really nice. It doesn't look, like, light in the pan, but it definitely comes off lighter when you've actually put it on your face. So, really nice. I like the highlighter. It's actually really nice and soft. It's not so much, like, heavy or chalky or chunky. It, it is really nice and soft. And the brushes, yeah. Can't go wrong with the brush, really, sometimes can you? Unless they literally don't come off on the brush. 
Right, let's move on to eyes. We're going blue today. I've looked at this palette and I was like trying to like think of something in my hair but I just wanted to go blue only because I have <laughs> these from Peaches and Cream and I've been dying to use them and I'm dying to use Malibu so um, I think I'm going to go in with the blue. I think I'm going to do like a proper cut crease and I think I'm going to go all out to be honest with you. So what do I do now? Yeah, I'm just going to take a spectrum just angled um, brow focus. Um, oh God, angled brow brush, that's the word, for God's sake. I'm going to take the shade Nobu and I'm going to carve out a line. That's the one. Oh my God, it's my, oh, here we go. It's going to be one of those nights. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Oh no, I'm getting fallout. Well, it's my fault really, isn't it? Because I put way too much on. Uh-oh. I've got blue in my face. Right, I need to put some powder underneath my face. Okay, now that I've put a really excessive amount of powder underneath my eyes, I shall just carve a shape out. This doesn't have to be like ridiculously tidy because I'm going to clean it up anyway. But I just sort of want to get roughly where I want to put it. So I just want it just above like my crease area. And this is where I sort of keep in looking out the camera to see where I sort of want it to curve upwards. There. And I'll just take it up a little bit more. too much more but we shall manage I need to look at that blue like properly wow so pretty I would like just put an eyeliner on now and just walk out like this I'd be happy <coughs> what's making me cough not a good sign nice Generally, like, I would just love to just put an eyeliner on this and have it as, like, a graphic liner. Very nice. I like that a lot. Right, so I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. This is just a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush. It's, like, a really small domed one. And I'm going to take the shade backstage. Okay, so I'm just going to do, like, a 50-50 and just go over the edges with that colour. Hope everyone is well and good. Has everyone gone back to work? Um, I still haven't gone back to work yet. I'm probably missing everyone now. I miss having a social life. 100% like it's just killing me to honestly. Like it's okay to say like I'm like here in the house one day and I'll just have like the best day and I'm so happy and and then literally I wake up the next and I'm just like stay away from me. Anyone else? Most likely. Oh my god those two colours together are so nice. Pretty. Okay so now I'm going to take another brush and I hope I have a clean one and a decent one. Because all my brushes are quite dirty at the moment. I'm on this one. Yeah, this is just a duo fibre and this is off like one of the Urban Decay ones but you can, places do sell ones like these. And I'm going to take the shade Rich Rich and do the same on that shade. Blend that out, just as a lighter colour to diffuse it. Imagine when salons can like finally open back up, people are just going to be nuts. Well, people are now with hairdressers. People can't wait. Whereas I just chuck my hair in a bobble and don't give a shit. But I'm quite lucky that I don't have um, my hair coloured or anything like that. Which, I was going through a crisis literally day before yesterday because I was like, I want to dye my hair. Like a really cool fucking colour, but 
Like, I love being a redhead. It's never, ever bothered me being a redhead. Bullied all my life for it. Couldn't give a shit. Um, and I'm quite lucky I had that me mental frame of being like, I generally love my hair colour. Um, but the per the disadvantages of my hair colour, and I say this for like all my hairdressers, I'm always like, I would love to have like rainbow coloured hair and stuff like that. But I can't. Because one, obviously red hair, it's just you can tell I'd be a ginger try like trying to be not a ginger um so I've never done it really I, I'd done red when I was in high school but I knew I was being sensible because I knew red would suit me being a redhead just to try something different not that I hated my hair color but just to be like I want to dye my hair so yeah I've looked at it, but I don't think I'll do it. I think I was just going through a crisis of being like, I'm stuck at home and I want something different. I'm just basically going to redo the steps I just did. Nice. Now what do I do? Let me cut the crease and then I'll probably decide what I'm going to do then. So yeah, quickly going to cut my crease with um, blank canvas, of course, because I've fallen in love with it. So be right back. So I just literally realised about my nails. Please ignore them. I've been picking at them. It was the new Barry M, um, high vis nail varnishes, and they were really nice, but I've just picked them. So, yeah, please ignore it. But, yeah, now I have cut the crease. Um, going to put. I'm actually going to put my wing on first, just the end bit, just so I like to know where I'm, I'm matching up. So, I'm going to quickly do that. literally just like that I'm not finishing it but I just want to actually like know where I'm going to put the liner so I don't go over it too much if that makes sense even though it's not perfectly lined up with this but best I can do only because I know tape works but tape does irritate me when I do a cut crease I'd rather just do it roughly than cut it out um but yeah anyway never mind so the shade I sort of want to go in with now is actually no actually yes See, I haven't thought this very well have I I sort of want to use Ocean Deep because <laughs> look at it and I picked out my I'm just chucking stuff on this table and I can't see anything what I'm doing oh yeah Nitro from the Mitchell collab because I really want to try it I ordered the crisp I ordered some new ones today I ordered the um, crisp finish um, bases as well I bought the teal and the blue <sighs> give it to me so I have and I also bought the rest of the like the pastel bases so I have all of the colourful bases now um, so I'm very excited for them to come and I also ordered the new Makeup Obsession palettes which I'm ridiculously excited for um, so yeah let's pop this on let's just chuck it on so I'm not debating over myself I'm just going to use the other end just as just a flat um, eyeshadow brush and I'm going to put Ocean Deep on my lid I'm sort of going to put it in the middle more than anything because I'm thinking I'm going to put that Mali Blue Mali Mala Blue oh god shade there that's a pretty colour one thing I will say about that colour straight away is that um, I just wish it was a little bit more vibrant my camera battery died so while it was on charge I just done the other eye it wasn't what I wanted to do at all but um, I thought I would just complete it basically nothing special but anyway right let's finally carry on so yeah this is what I'm going to achieve basically on the other side so what I did was try and find the brushes that I've used now so yeah going back in with Ocean Deep and I was literally just covered my whole entire lid with it. I love this camera to pieces, but I would admit, like, it's not a good battery life. And, like, it was weird because I, like, checked the battery before I started filming and it said full. And then, like I said, literally when I got to that bit, it was, like, flashing red. And I was like, oh, shit. So, never mind, eh? Okay, now that I got that covered, I then went in with, I can't remember which brush I did now because I've used so many brushes. Um, just another flat shader brush and I went in with 
Malibu, yeah, I went in. I went in with Malibu from Peaches and Cream, if I can get the top off without going everywhere. And I'm gonna lay down a bit more powder, because this did go everywhere. God, too much. And I literally just chuck this all over, because she's pretty. Cool. So now I'm just gonna finish off my eyeliner. Try and match it to the other side. Okay, he's gonna pop a bit of mascara on quickly. Just get it over and done with. Right, then I went in with the shade. I did eventually go in with nitro. Like I said, I wanted to use nitro on the crease area, but it was literally exactly the same shade. So I wish I sort of saved this shade now for the uh, new P. Louise bases I was gonna get, because I know that they were a lot brighter, but never mind. So I pop this in my waterline quickly, just to get it over and done with. Then I went in with, went with another in brush, it's just a flat brush. And I took the shade Trendsetter, which is the green, and popped it underneath. And then take in on the other side, which is dual fiber again, green juice, and just blending that out. Okay, then bottom mascara. Every time I do these videos, I'm always like, why did I do my base first? But it's just because I do this so late at night. It's just so easy for me to have a base on. But I've got glitter all over my face now, so... Well, pigments all on my hair. I can see it. Oh, it's quite pretty, actually. Oh, God, it's, like, everywhere. No, can you see it? Lol. Dickhead. The green liner is the... ABH Norvina Electric Cake Liner, so I'm gonna quickly do that. I love this green, but I feel like you always need to, um, you need to second layer it. Lovely. Now I'm going to put my lashes on and the lashes are, I think they're Ariana. I can't find the top from Dolby. I'm pretty basic with my lashes. I don't really do loads of brands of eyelashes. But I've certainly like fallen in love with um, Dolby ones. So I'm going to put these ones on nice and full. Wait for them to dry. <gasps> Fucking hell. The only reason I panic like that is because my camera, which cost me a lot of money, is literally balancing on my table. So if I knock this hard enough, that camera will like fly off. And I've got a thing for constantly moving my legs, especially when I'm doing this sat down. That'd be fun editing because I, I know I look like a right fucking idiot then, but never mind. Lashes are on, so I'm going to. I got a bit more on that side, haven't I? Never mind. I'm going to put my lippy on, and I shall be back. So they have it, guys. Here's the finished look. Um, I hope you really like it. I'm still a bit miffed about it. It's not terrible, but it's um, kind of a bummer when things that I want to do doesn't come to plan. But it's just because. I do probably rush a lot of this stuff, so probably doesn't come out very good. Um, I'm not going to say what the lipstick is. I think I finally have come to a decision not to support a certain brand, but I'm just going to wear it just for this time because I literally have no other lipsticks. Um, my one lip looks really overdrawn than the other, but never mind. So yeah, here are my final thoughts on the Patricia Bright palette. So obviously I know I've only done this one video on this palette, but I actually have used it once before, but it was literally only one shade, and it was the shade Fruit Punch, which I used in one of my Instagram looks where I had done like the pink cut crease with the clouds. Um, but honestly, from what I've used, these blues blended beautifully. Like the pigmentation was really nice. The only downfall, and that's literally just so, like something so petty and minor to me, is that this Ocean Deep shade, I just wish it was a little bit more brighter. It didn't come off like a really nice... Um, 
bright shimmer it just came off sort of like a, a, a sheer sheen sort of color so definitely it's it's such a beautiful inspiring palette as well now that i look at it it really reminds me of the Soph does nails and now the new makeup by tammy palette because it also has like vitamin c and like this shade here oh god my nails are rank um are exactly the same as like the colors in those palettes so i definitely want to go more with the pink and purples next time i just always always my eyes go straight to blue um but for 20 quid this palette's like i always say palettes are worth it when they're cheaper it's not got bad pigment pigmentation i mean like if it was like nothing i'd be like you know spend your money but just from what i've done and with swatches it's it's really really nice so yeah i really like it um i, I like i don't want to say oh yeah 100 percent go for it just because it is my first proper time playing with it but i'm hoping to do more videos and probably get a better feel to the palette and if i'd really really 100 percent be like yeah get this palette so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video this like tutorial of me fucking everything up but i really hope you enjoyed it and please like and subscribe and give me a nice big thumbs up and check me out on instagram and i hope to see you in my next video bye